Well, here we are. <laughs> we're going to try to do a vlog or two, people. Um, we're in limbo land between Christmas and New Year's. I look a bit wrecked, but that's because I have literally done nothing but eat and drink over the last week or so. Um, and we're rounding it off beautifully. I thought today was a good day to start a vlog because myself and Polly, we are heading to Paris Court for a night and we have never been. Um, not an ad, not a freebie or a gift. Um, we paid for her stay. And uh, yeah, I've never been before, so I'm excited to kind of document it and see how we get on. Hopefully it's nice, because we're kind of looking forward to a little last night, just the two of us, to enjoy. Are you excited? I'm excited. Yay! We're going away. We're, well, we're going to Paris Court. We're going around the corner. <laughs> be nice. It'll be nice. Penny, we have to drop off to my mom's. Uh, she's in the background somewhere. Uh, and then we're gonna go get a nice coffee, maybe have a little walk. Sausage roll. I oh, love a sausage roll. Paul's gonna have a sausage roll. I, um, I don't know what I'm gonna have, but I am very excited. I'm gonna have a glass of champagne. We're just at the hotel. We've had a slight disaster because uh, we're so busy that we haven't been able to get lunch anymore, so we're starving. But we decided just to come straight to the hotel and have lunch here. Did you know that Sika is Japanese for you? <laughs> because we're in the secret restaurant. We're just gonna have some lunch and some wine. Oh. Polly, what you get? I got cold pork patachi. And I got tomato soup and chips. Can I just say, soup and chips is the most underrated combo ever known to man. Just letting you know. Okay, so we're just going down to There's check out our room. Door. There's a wreath on every That's door. So cute. I'm gonna show you this is so cute. How cute is that? It's on our room. Yeah. Just going down to see our room now. We've just had lunch and we're a little buzzed. We had two glasses of wine with lunch, so we're feeling good. Yes. We do have a wreath. Yes. Da -da. Oh my god. Wow. This is fancy. How gorgeous. I mean we could I feel like we could have a business meeting in here. I'm going to business. Business meeting. How gorgeous. <gasps> we have a little terrace. This is our bedroom. And then, okay, then we're hanging here. Like oh, wow. Oh, we. Gorgeous bath. Hello. This is gorgeous. What is this room? This is the bathroom. No, no, this is the bathroom. <laughs> I mean, what kind of room is this? There's no but I want to be in that bath. It's so beautiful. Oh my god, okay, so let's go out onto the terrace, shall we? Let's go to the terrace, although it's probably too cold for the terrace. Mm -hmm. I'll say that again. There's a kitchen and a downstairs loo. I don't understand this. <laughs> Why is there a kitchen? Oh, well this is, I thought you meant there was a stairs that went downstairs. There's like another toilet here. Bigger Stunning. Than our it's bigger than our bathroom at home. Gorge. And then there's also a kitchen. Also, why, is someone, question. why is someone coming to Paris Court and needing a kitchen? What? what oh my God, Paul. There's an external door for the kitchen. Do you think it's so like you can have someone come up and like utilize your kitchen? How bizarre. Beautiful. We won't be using the kitchen. Anyway, we're here and it's beautiful. Oh, we're gonna have a lovely night. Paul's just, Paul's just not gonna finish. Um, yes, we are here and we're ready for a lovely night. Um, I think, I don't know what our plan is. I think we're gonna go check out the spa in a little bit. <laughs> okay, so we had quite the substantial <laughs> snooze, but now we are going down to the spa. Obviously, can't bring my camera down there because that's totally inappropriate, but um, very excited. It looks beautiful. And yeah, we're gonna have a little swim, a little jacuzzi. <laughs> Hello, it's me. <laughs> we're gonna have some jacuzzi. We're gonna have jacuzzi. Jacuzzi and jacuzzi. a swim. Yeah, so we're excited. I'll let Goodbye. you know. Okay, so we are back from the spa. We actually didn't spend very long down there because 
because it was fine. <laughs> and there was loads of kids down there. So yeah, it wasn't... Yes, Paul in the background saying kids are into everything. Um, wasn't, I'm not really a spa vibe kind of person. Paul would spend forever and a day in the spa. Um, also the sauna and steam room are kind of outside of the swimming pool vicinity. Just kind of breaks it up a bit, I think. Uh, but yeah, spa, I mean, I don't like spas anyway. It's not for me. I'm not much of a zen zone kind of person. I think it aesthetically is very nice. The pool was well heated. Uh, Paul said there was a lot of chlorine in the jacuzzi, so he felt that was a little overwhelming. Um, so yeah, spa not my favourite part, but so far the place is so peaceful and calm. Who needs a spa because the whole place is like a spa. And now I'm having a little glass of champagne in the room before we get ready and go down for a drink in this little area that I really want to have a drink in because it's just so lovely. Uh, it's straight in the doors when you come in. And then, yeah, we're going to go for some food. It's just about your quarter of five minutes, get ready with me. And I just realized I forgot my makeup bag with everything in it. All I have is moisturizer. So this is how I'm going to dinner this evening. I'll put some clothes on. We are going for dinner. Look how handsome he is. It's handsome. Man. I'm not here at the guy, so <laughs> I would <laughs> Too fancy for us. Okay, so I'm having a glass of Sauvignon Blanc because I'm boring. Paul is having Sunset Negroni. Right, go on. It's actually really nice. I think out of the Negroni you'd be able to drink. <laughs> Negroni's just tastes like petrol to me. I'm gonna try it in a second. Uh, also, um, are you in a salsa club? <laughs> I have tried many Negronis. I think that's a good one. That actually tastes okay to start with them. <laughs> petrol taste comes through. Ugh. Fancy French potato soup. Paul is having what is this? Cheese. Blue cheese. It doesn't look that blue. <laughs> it doesn't look like cheese either. But it looks fancy. So for mains, I got the stook. Uh, I got a cooked medium, obs. Uh, we got a moussellini potato. I don't know what that means. And this little beauty. Thank you. Paul, what did you get? I got the halibut with some mussels. Oh, with some mussels. Mm. Beautiful. And we've ordered more drinks. Paul is excited. And tonight, your shirt, can I just say your shirt is getting more and more open as we go. So, Paul, um, so this is what I'm having. I have, n what is it? A chocolate mousse. I, they, they just keep saying French names. Somewhere. It's something it's like, French. Okay. This is from the chef, no idea what it is. And Paul got all the cheese from the trolley. It's like a charcuterie. It's actually charcuterie. charcuterie board. Now, those cheeses terrify me. A good few blues in there. Blech, not for me. Or it could be a dangerous thing. It could be. I could be a on the floor. <laughs> I think it could be Negroni 10 minutes before. So, I just, we went to have our little nightcap in the lovely reception area, which was nice. Um, so, basically, went to pay for our drinks and just put it on the room. And there's this little problem that I have the last while in that I am blind. <laughs> I really badly need to go get my eyes tested. But I went up to pay for the drinks. And obviously it was like you had to write your number somewhere, had to write your name somewhere. I couldn't work out what any of it was. And the woman was looking at me as I was squinting. I also had some issue with like <laughs> sorting the pen out. Anyway, no one fully thought I was very drunk, but actually just blind. Anyway, we are back to bed, ready to call it a night. We had a lovely sleep. I got up and went to the gym this morning and now I did not go to the gym. Paul did not go to the gym. We are going down to breakfast. Breakfast finishes at 11 and it is 
coming up on half 10. So I'm guessing it's gonna be quite busy, but sure, listen, we roll. Scrapped eggs. I was just I was gonna show you a fuck up, but he's it's eating delicious. it. He's <laughs> already eating it, but the buffet is really good. Hello, I am home, and look who I'm with. The lovely Penny who stayed in my mummy's house and had the loveliest time. But we are back home now. Paul has gone out with his girls, so I thought I'd just do a little roundup of our stay in Paris Court and give you kind of the rundown. Overall, we had a lovely stay, really, really liked it. Um is it my favourite hotel that we've stayed in this year? Probably not. Um, if you like that kind of more elegant, um, kind of old world hotel, it's absolutely that vibe. I know my mum and dad would absolutely love it, but personally, I prefer Glass and Lake House. And I know it probably doesn't have the same luxurious feel. In fact, actually, I think it did. Uh, it just felt newer. So I know I'm into the more modern hotel vibe. I did have a gorgeous say, and the things that I will say is the food was unbelievable. Like the food was out of this world. The wine was gorgeous as well. No complaints on the wine front. And the service was one of the best that we've ever had. As I said, the spa was fine. I obviously went to the gym this morning and quite, I quite liked it there, as in the equipment was really good. It didn't look as cool and modern, but actually the equipment they had in there was super modern and yeah, had a really good workout. Breakfast was beautiful, but again, I think that came down to more of the food itself and the service, which was amazing. I think the restaurant itself, which we ended up having lunch, dinner, and breakfast in, like, isn't that impressive, the actual restaurant itself, but what makes it really gorgeous is the food and the service, which I suppose is what you're there for. Uh, would we go back to Paris Court? Yeah, we probably would. We probably would. Um, we'd probably go with, like, my mum and dad, because I know they would love it there. Um, so, yeah, overall, it was a really lovely night. I'm so glad we did it. Um, I kind of really wanted to do that whole rounding off our Christmas break with a night away, and I think I'm going to try and make that a tradition and do that going forward. The only thing is, really enjoyed all the food, but like with all of the food and drink that we had over Christmas, maybe it was a little too soon. Maybe we should go away for New Year's or something next year. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Uh, I mean, I'm just getting to grips with it, so bear with me. Um, I don't think I've ever really done a vlog before, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna try and get more like shots away where I'm not like holding the camera the whole time. Uh, but yes, um, I, if you liked this vlog and if you want to see more, or if you have any thoughts on the hotel, leave them in the comments below. Um, or if you'd like to see anything in particular, uh, let me know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.